There are two ways to restore default settings on any DCI amplifier with network and DSP. The first reset requires the amplifier to be online and connected to HiQnet Audio Architect software and only resets DSP settings. And the second method is a complete factory reset with no software or networking required. The first factory reset is activated through Audio Architect and will cause the following to happen. Reset all DSP settings, including presets. To activate the factory reset, Double-click on the virtual representation of the amplifier to open its default control panel. Next, click on Tools, Factory Reset. A warning will pop up stating settings will be lost. Press Yes to confirm factory reset of all DSP settings. The amplifier will go offline as it reboots and should automatically reconnect within about two minutes. A complete factory reset is activated using a small pinhole button on the back of the amplifier. This type of reset will cause the following to happen. Reset all DSP settings, including presets. The IP address will be reset to the default DHCP auto IP mode, along with other network settings. The HiQnet device ID will be lost. The device name will also be reset. And the container or rack position will be reset to default. To activate the complete factory reset, make sure the amplifier is turned off but plugged into its AC power source. Locate the small pinhole reset button on the back of the unit between the data and preset indicators. Using a tool such as a paperclip, carefully insert the tool into the hole until you feel the button press down slightly. Keeping this button pressed, turn on power to the amplifier. After about 5 seconds, the preset light will turn on yellow. Continue holding down the small button. After about 15 seconds, the yellow light will turn green. When this light turns green, remove the tool from the button. When the amp reboots, the IP address will be set to the default DHCP auto IP mode and likely need to be readdressed using Netsetter. A shortcut to the Netsetter application is located in the ribbon at the top of Audio Architect. In both factory reset instances, the firmware version will remain the same as it was before the reset. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the Technical Support Department or email them at the options shown below.